I was always uh, a reader. From I started reading, I guess around four and a half or five. My sister Val Jean uh, taught me how to read. We all have French names. My mother has a degree in French literature. So I'm named after Honoré de Balzac and France Fanon. And I'm the baby. The middle sister is named after Cito Nicolette. And then the oldest is named after Jean Valjean and Les Miserables. I don't know if that was the metaphor. but um, So she's my oldest sister and was very, uh, they both talk about, you know, me as a baby. And uh, she spent a lot of time with me. She ran over me with a car once when I was three, but that's a whole different story. She didn't do it on purpose. But uh, so she taught me how to read. And um, I've been an avid reader ever, ever since then. I always read above my age level because I read, I started with the Dick and Jane books. And by the time I was in third grade, I was reading about, I was reading on the college level college proficiency, although I wasn't reading, um, you know, Tolstoy or anything like that, but I, I wasn't an avid reader, and my father gave me, at that time, when I was in elementary school, I guess around third or fourth grade, I had a $50 a month book allowance, which at that time was a lot of money, you know, you could get paperbacks for 75 cents, a dollar, 52 dollars and 50 cents. So I read a lot and I, um, I didn't have any friends when I was in elementary school. Uh, a lot of people find that shocking because I seem to be so sociable now, but I've come into that. So I was very shy and very uh, cranky in, back in elementary school and very, very lonely. And so I read a lot, and my mother was my best friend. We would, and I would read to her, and we would talk about the things that I read. And that's how I started. My mother says that I started writing little stories when I was like five or six. I don't remember. But she claims that I brought a, a story to her and said I wanted to get it published. <laughs> And so, I don't know if she made that up, but that sounds like something I would do. And so, I would read little stories that I wrote her. I always, in my secret heart, wanted to be a writer. But my father was a writer, and um, we didn't have a very good relationship. He didn't have a good relationship with any of us. And um, we adored him. He was, you know, the center of our lives. But he was a writer, and... Um, very selfish with his time, very selfish with his affection. And that wasn't the kind of person I wanted to be. Um, and he cast a big shadow. He remains probably the most, the smartest man I've met. He knew you could ask him, you know, what poet from outer Indonesia or whatever, and he would say, well, that would be blah, 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 blah. I mean, he, he, I read for the love. He read for love too, but he, it was like he, he consumed books. And that was very daunting. My mother is a very brilliant woman as well. She's different in that she doesn't consume books, but she is much more of a critical thinker than he was. Um, and so, that, you know, my father had this sort of literary knowledge, this vast literary knowledge, but he couldn't look at things or even text critically. Mama can look at text critically, but, you know, she's got so much going on. She reads, you know, a lot of the same books over and over again because she teaches. And so I think I'm a combination of the two of them.